Hello YouTube, Mr. Evans here with my vlog number 109? Yes, 109. Um, today is Friday, not just any Friday, it is Super Friday because I do not have two, two days off ahead of me. I have got nine days off. It is the beginning of President's Week and I am so in need of it. Um, because, you know, it's, it's tiring. This job's tiring. You know that. You've been with me for a while. <clears throat> and then when we get back, it's a half day, so... Um, yeah, I, I think that this is some, some much-needed rest. I'm... I'm... <sighs> it's Friday. The time is 8.40. Uh, um, so I'm gonna be getting out of here pretty late, but pretty early for a Friday. Um, but... All the same, I'm gonna try and keep this vlog short, um, because I do want to get out of here. Uh, and I don't really have too much to say about today, it was just, it, it was just good. And again, you know, it was kind of the same as yesterday, there were issues that cropped up, but they, I mean, I handled them correctly, and they were handled correctly on other people's ends, and just, it, it, it went, it, it went well. Um, I will go ahead and say there was one moment I was kind of worried, um, about uh, restoring relationships with a couple of students, but um, I think it's going to be okay. Um, you know, it, it, it's always such a such a balancing act, which leads me into the wonder quote of the day. Oh, by the way, happy Valentine's Day. The wonder quote of the day, appropriately enough, is to be loved, be lovable. That is much easier said than done, YouTube. Much easier said than done. Because, as I've expressed, and I don't want to keep harping on it, but, um, as I've expressed previously on this vlog, um, just, what I see as love or care doesn't always come across that way, at least not in the moment for some of these students. And so, I, I hope that, uh, maybe eventually they'll recognize, um, how much I care about them. Um, I, m maybe some of them do already, I, I hope so, um, but, yeah, it, it, it is, um, it's a challenge. It's a challenge, um, to act in a way that protects everyone while at the same time being, you know, likable, uh, or lovable, as the, as the quote says, but... I want to also read this other quote that I'm not going to get to read because it is a Sunday quote. Those who try to do something and fail are infinitely better than those who try to do nothing and succeed. And that's kind of how I feel, where I think some students feel like I'm not a likable teacher. I don't uh, act in ways that are, are, are best for them, but you know what, I, I keep forging ahead with the understanding that I am trying my best. Um, and, I, and I am, I, I, I really am. And so I, I hope, well I've already gone over that, love looks different to, to different people. But that being said, I think that there are those students who see through it all. And there are students even who don't see me as a lovable or likable teacher, but they understand. They understand where I'm coming from. Um, and so, yeah, I, I try to be positive about this. And, and that leads me into the, uh, the three moments that made me smile today. Um, because they... Yeah, they kind of speak to what I'm talking about here, where it's like, I try to do things and it doesn't work with everybody. Some students say, I don't care about that, Mr. Evans, but some students say, that's great, that resonates with me. Um, for example, um, at the beginning of the day, uh, you know, my, uh, whenever I'm here early enough, and today I was here early enough, my bike had a flat tire yesterday, but I fixed it when I got home, so um, <laughs> it didn't happen again, that's lucky. Uh, my TV, um, I play uh, videos on it, and um, one of the ones I put up was this, it's very interesting, it's stop motion cooking, where it's this guy who just takes like household items like pencils and, you know, uh, staples and Rubik's cubes and that kind of thing, and he makes it look like he's cooking with them using stop motion animation, 
Um, but it's also ASMR because, you know, you can kind of, as he's cutting, you can hear the knife. You know, that was the sound of him shaking. <laughs> I don't know, it's just, it, it, it's cool. And um, I think it's cool, but I was, I was kind of worried. I was like, I don't know if the kids are gonna like this, but I put it up and <laughs> one of my students, he comes in and he looks at it and he's like, whoa, that is so cool. Whoa, like it just blew his mind. And I was like, not every student is gonna react that way, but if he liked it that much, probably other students are gonna like it at least somewhat. So I ended up showing it at the end of every period for the rest of the day, which was really cool. Um, another moment that made me smile was that I got to, you um, know, I, I handed out some blank Valentine cards uh, for students to fill out. And uh, there were not that many that wanted to do it. Um, again, what I will try to do doesn't resonate with everybody. But some of them uh, wanted to write cards to other teachers. And so I got to go and deliver those cards to the teachers, which is... It's always fun. It's, it's nice to be able to provide students the space to give that recognition, and it's also nice to be able to be a part of it, you know? Um, so it's, it's just kind of positive all around. I, I like doing it when I get the chance. I can't do it overly, otherwise it, it um, just sort of peters out and dies, but um, being able to do it even a little bit's pretty fun. Uh, so that's another moment that made me smile. And the third moment that made me smile is exactly what I'm talking about, so I was saving it for, uh, for last. Um, where I was talking about, like, just not everything, it, what I do doesn't resonate with everybody, but with, with some it does, and so I'm, I'm trying, and I'm going to keep trying. And today, got a Valentine's Day card from a student, as well as this amazing sugar rose. Look at that. And, and this was, like, she made this. She and her family made this, um, you know, by hand. But this card, um, I want to read it to you because it, it means, it just meant so much to me. Um, obviously, I'm not going to read the student's name, but uh, I just, just, um, just listen. Dear Mr. Evans, happy Valentine's Day. Hope you have a great break from all this stress. Have a wonderful break. I care about you, and you're one of my favorite teachers. You are nice, and you always find a way to make your class better. The kids might think it's boring, but some kids don't. Hope you have a great day. Um, and again, that's, that's the thing I cling to at the end right there, right? There are some students who are going to say, it's boring, I don't want to do it, um, I don't want to be in there. But it's not everyone. I'm putting in a lot of effort. And they don't recognize it, but it's there. And um, the fact that not everybody thinks that way, and this does work with some students, is it means a lot. So, Happy Valentine's Day, YouTube. Spread the love. One more thing I want to tell you about, because this was kind of actually another moment that made me smile, is I've got some great plans for, for break. I have a, a spa day uh, booked. You know, there's this massage place nearby that I like to go to, and I haven't... Well, actually, I went pretty recently, but um, I'm, I, I found that there's a different spa nearby. Well, it's not that nearby, but it's also accessible. But it's, it's not... You don't get, like, massages and stuff. It's just kind of open, you can just kind of go to the different treatment rooms, which is exactly what I was looking for. So, glad that I found that. It's pretty inexpensive. <clears throat> um, also, I am seeing Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Insanely excited about that. Um, so, that's, that's, that's happening soon. I will tell you all about that when I get back. Well, hopefully I will anyways. Um, and tomorrow, and this was something I told my, my students, I, I told my students about the Harry Potter thing and they were excited about that, but this moment really made me smile. I, uh, cause, and this is true, I was, I was just, on Monday I was like looking, I, I got an email and I look at the email and this email pops up, this new show is here and I didn't even know it was coming and not only was it coming here, um, tickets are on sale, like the prices are way low. I looked at it and I out loud went, 
don't think anybody heard me, but I did it. Um, and I immediately bought a ticket, uh, got a great seat, orchestra. And so I'm telling my kids all this and they're going, what, 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 what's the show? What's the show? And I said, I, I got the ticket. And so tomorrow I'm going to be seeing SpongeBob SquarePants, the musical. And with some of the kids, they were kind of like, oh, cool. But this one period you saw, just like their mouths dropped open, just, you're going to go see that? And like, they didn't even know that it was a thing. Um, but like, just finding out that it was a thing and that I was going to be able to see it, it was awesome. They were like, record it for us. I said, I, I can't, that's illegal. But you know, thanks for, thanks for the enthusiasm. Uh, so yeah, really excited about those, uh, those break plans and excited to come back and tell you about him. So, uh, I think I did not keep this vlog very short, did I? Oh well, I tried. Yeah, trying and failing is better than doing nothing and succeeding, right? Bad, bad way to use that quote. Anyways, you have a great week. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If I don't see you before next Monday, you have a great rest of your, uh, not next Monday, but the Monday after next. Um, if I don't see you before then, because I, I don't know if I'll be making any break vlogs, you have a great week. I will uh, talk to you again when we are back in session. Until then, bye-bye, YouTube.